lot of times, if your parents say no to something, it's because they really protecting you from something. Or they have a good feeling or some discernment or something that leads them to tell you no. And at the time, you may not really want to hear it. used to that culture but they have like a lot of like a spinach style black beans rice plantains flan um charcoal grilled chicken and that's what i have on the menu but before we even get into this video give this video a thumbs up guys subscribe hit the notification be notified comment below what else you would like to see us try guys so we're gonna say our grace let's get into it father god bless this food bless the ones that prepared it let it be nurturing to our body in your name we pray amen so I have these two drinks here. Um, I have a close up right here. So you guys just saw that close up. I'm not sure of the name of these drinks. Um, this I have a, the red one is called Moranda, Chicha Moranda, and this one is called Horchata. Now the Chicha Moranda is house made with purple corn, cinnamon, pineapple, lime juice, and cloves. Then we have this one Horchata. It is a sweet favorite, house made with rice, milk, and cinnamon. So I'm gonna be trying these drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my beans on the rice. Now this place right here is located, I got this one off in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, where was it? In Mini City Shopping Center. If you guys are familiar with that, where the Raleigh Crab House is. Ooh, those beans are good. I do like Spanish food a lot, so I'm from Miami and we eat this. This is normal. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Them beans though, they hit different with some lime juice in them. Mmm. Really good. Well seasoned. This charcoal chicken. I'm gonna take the wing off first because y'all know I can't do the brace. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The chicken is seasoned good. We taste the mojo flavors. not expensive at all. Which drink do I want to try first? Mm. I'll try the Chi Chi. Mmm. That's really good. Right, let's try the Horacha. Dessert drinks. I'm gonna plan Please excuse sugar, y'all. Of course, she's in the background. Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all. So, 
I want to talk about <clears throat> being disobedient. You know, disobedience can be as it could be an adult, a child. We all have been disobedient in our lives. But I want to talk about one time in particular. And my mama, my mama was all, she wasn't like, you know how some parents are like, no, no parents, they always say no. But I had a mama that normally she said yes. Like me and DJ never really wanted to do nothing crazy. Most things she said yes to. She wasn't a no, 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 no all the time. So, this particular day, I was going to say that a lot of times if your parents say no to something, it's because they really protecting you from something or they have a good feeling or some discernment or something that leaves them to tell you no. And at the time, you may not really want to hear it. You may be like, oh my God, I'm 16 years old, I'm 18 years old. She never lets me do anything. They never let me go out with my friends. You feel like everything they do is like against everything you want to do. And it can be very frustrating as a child because all you want to do is hang out with your friends, go places, talk to boys, talk to girls, and your parents are protecting you from all of that. Mmm, that chicken is so good. Mmm. I'm going to tell you about a time that, well, I was going to say, me, for me and my brother, we have learned that when mama say no, go with the no. Because something is going to come and bite you on your tail that you did not expect. So one day, my mama always told, DJ used to always be outside playing. All the time. And my mama told DJ, DJ, don't go outside in your sandals because if you go outside in your sandals, something could happen to your feet, you know? And it was so weird that she even told him something like that because it's like, who cares what shoes they have on when they go outside? Like, literally, who cares what kind of shoes your kids have on? They outside playing, they doing whatever they want, but for some reason, she told DJ, don't be outside in your sandals. And this was weeks prior to what happened. One day, DJ went outside in his sandals again. And I will never forget these sandals because they was kind of like the Jesus um, Gap Galliander sandals. Kind of like, Gale what's it called? Galliander? What's it called, y'all? Goliath. Goliath? I don't know. But they were like the Jesus sandals and they was brown. And DJ thought he would go outside in his sandals. This, so this, so DJ went outside to his friend house down the street, right? Uh, DJ drove his bike down there. So the friend was like, you know, DJ, let's switch bikes. But DJ probably was like seven years old. He like, okay, let's, why not? Let's switch bikes. You're my best friend. It wasn't a permanent switch bikes. It was just for that, that day. When they were hanging out. So, we have a, long, a hill. Well, what my mama house is, is a hill that go down, like all the way down. So, DJ was a friend with riding a bike, no problem. So, they get to the hill. And DJ, they was going super fast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, hold on, y'all. They get ready to go down the hill. They're going super fast. And DJ was going so fast that it scared him. So he wanted to stop the bike. So. When he went to stop the bike. It didn't stop. 
he was pressing, you know, clicking the things to stop it and then stop. So he started panicking. So I kept going. He started panicking some more. So he start, he decided to use his feet to drop down. And when he dropped his feet down, his feet <coughs> his feet was, you know flew back like that with the sandals on. So he was using his toes, his feet, all that to stop the bike to slow down. So. I'm in the house and all of a sudden I hear uh, some screaming like a boy crying. It was real bad. I never heard a cry like that before in my life. And the big sister, matter of fact, I probably was outside. I don't know. Yeah, I was outside. I was on the front porch with my friends and he was, I don't know, and they, you know, riding bikes. Um, I ran to him like, oh my God, what happened to my brother? But he was crying so hard. And when I got to him, his all his toenails were all pretty much all ripped off. He had a whole bunch of cuts on his feet, his toes. They were like, y'all, it was real bad. Like my brother was crying. It was real bad. So my grandpa was home. My mama was home. And I had to help my brother get to the house because, you know, he was crying. He couldn't really walk because his toes were had been backwards. <laughs> it's not funny, but. Okay. So, got in the house and then mama was like panicking like, what happened? So, DJ was like, mama, I rolled down the, um, I was riding Alan's bike and I didn't know Alan's bike didn't have no brakes. And. I messed my toes up. Mama said, didn't I tell you not to have no sandals on? Now, if you'd have had some sneakers on, you would have been okay. I'm saying that to say, listen to your parents. So my brother's toes was messed up for about three months, for real. Mom had to recut the toenails to where they were to get them shaped up. He was in a lot of pain. Listen to your parents. Do what they say. Because they know what's right. And they say stuff for a reason. So, now we're about to get into dessert. We got some flan. Everybody flan ain't good. Mmm. Hot lady. Mmm. Oh my God. Who they got working back there? Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because it's like kind of melted at the bottom from sitting on the beans. That was so good. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this this um authentic April. Stay tuned for next week's video. Can't believe what it is, huh? Well, I love you guys. This will be a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the Epic Empire. Everyone's links in the description below. I love you, gang, gang, gang.